The Edmund A. Walsh School of Foreign Service, known simply as the School of Foreign Service or SFS, is a school of international relations at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. It is considered to be one of the world's leading international affairs schools, granting degrees at both undergraduate and graduate levels. The school's most notable alumni include U.S. President Bill Clinton, former CIA Director George Tenet, and King Felipe VI of Spain, as well as the heads of state or government of many countries. Its faculty has also included many distinguished figures in international affairs, such as the former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, former U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel, and the former President of Poland Aleksander Kwasniewski. Founded in 1919, the School of Foreign Service predates the U.S. Foreign Service by six years, and is sometimes referred to as the West Point of the U.S. Diplomatic Corps due to the large number of graduates who end up shaping U.S. foreign policy. Despite its reputation for producing prominent American statesmen and diplomats, SFS is not a diplomatic academy and its graduates go on to have careers in a diverse set of sectors, including Wall Street. The School of Foreign Service was established by Edmund A. Walsh with the goal of preparing Americans for various international professions in the wake of expanding U.S. involvement in world affairs after the First World War. Today, the school hosts a student body of approximately 2,250 from over 100 nations each year. It offers an undergraduate program based in the liberal arts, which leads to the Bachelor of Science in Foreign Service degree, as well as eight interdisciplinary graduate programs. Topic history The school has evolved from its original emphasis on diplomacy and law to become a center for research and teaching on global affairs. Faculty are today drawn from disciplines such as political science, history, economics and cultural studies, as well as from business, the non-profit sector and international organizations. The school has about 1,400 undergraduates seeking a Bachelor of Science in Foreign Service degree. The undergraduate program is intended to provide a liberal arts education with a focus in international affairs. Undergraduates concentrate in international politics IPOL, international history IHIS, culture and politics CULP, international economics IECO, international political economy IPEC, regional and comparative studies RCST, global business GBUS, or science, technology, and international affairs STIA. The STIA program was the first of its kind. Harvard and Georgia Tech, among others, now have STIA programs as well. Graduate students can pursue eight graduate programs, five regional studies programs as well as the Master of Science in Foreign Service MSFS, Master of Global Human Development and the Master of Arts in Security Studies program. Graduates go on to careers in the public, private, and non-profit sectors as well as further higher education. Alumni include current Jordan, Lithuania, Spain, and Bosnia, and recent United States, Philippines heads of state. The current dean of the school is Joel Hellman. Notable faculty members at the Walsh School of Foreign Service have included former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, former Undersecretary of Defense Douglas Faith, former Polish President Aleksander Kwasniewski, former National Security Advisor Antony Lake, former U.S. Senator and Obama Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel, Ambassador Donald McHenry, former CIA Director George Tenet, former Malaysian Deputy Prime Minister and current Malaysian Opposition Leader Anwar Ibrahim, former World Bank VP Callisto Madar Bravo, former Dean Robert Gallucci, former USAID Administrator and Special Envoy for Sudan Andrew Natsios, Ambassador of Israel to the United States Michael Oren, former Prime Minister of Spain José María Aznar, and former President of Colombia Álvaro Uribe Vélez. Academics <laughs> 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 Topic undergraduate programs The School of Foreign Services undergraduate program features a rigorous core curriculum including a freshman proseminar, two philosophy courses, two theology courses, two humanities and writing courses, two government courses, two courses in engaging diversity, three history courses including two non-Western regional history courses, a four-course economic sequence, and a geopolitics course unique to SFS entitled Map of the Modern World. 
To graduate, students must also attain proficiency in at least one modern foreign language, demonstrated through successful completion of a specially designed oral exam and other requirements as determined by the department. Following completion of the core, students declare one of the following interdisciplinary majors, Culture and Politics Global Business International Economics International History International Political Economy International Politics Regional and Comparative Studies Science, Technology, and International Affairs In addition to their major, students may choose from a number of undergraduate certificate programs, African Studies, Arab Studies, Asian Studies, Australian and New Zealand Studies, German and European Studies, International Business Diplomacy, International Development, Muslim Christian Understanding, Jewish Civilization, Justice and Peace Studies, Latin American Studies, Medieval Studies, Russian and East European Studies, Social and Political Thought, and Women's and Gender Studies. Graduate programs Graduate students can pursue eight interdisciplinary graduate degrees in the school. Master of Science in Foreign Service MSFS, Master of Arts in Security Studies Master of Global Human Development Master of Arts in Arab Studies Master of Arts in Asian Studies Master of Arts in German and European Studies Master of Arts in Eurasian, Russian and East European Studies Master of Arts in Latin American Studies Here are also two joint degrees offered in partnership with Georgetown's McDonough School of Business. The first is the Global Executive MBA, which is offered in collaboration with the ESADE Business School in Spain, and the INCAE Business School in Costa Rica. The second is the MA in International Business and Policy. In addition, the Institute for the Study of Diplomacy holds the Georgetown Leadership Seminar for an annual gathering of selected rising leaders from around the world for a week of intensive discussion on major international issues. Reputation and rankings Georgetown's programs in international relations have consistently ranked among the best in the world in surveys of the field's academics that have been published biennially since 2005 by Foreign Policy magazine. In 2014, and again in 2018, Foreign Policy ranked Georgetown's master's programs first in the world and its bachelor's programs fourth. In a separate survey of makers of American foreign policy from 2011, Georgetown ranked second overall, after Harvard, in the quality of preparation for a career in the U.S. government, regardless of degree earned. Campuses <coughs> 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 The School of Foreign Service main campus is located in northwest Washington, D.C. It opened another campus, which is known as SFSQ, in Doha's Education City, in the Emirate of Qatar in 2005. Nearly all SFS undergraduates spend a minimum of one semester or a summer abroad, choosing from direct matriculation programs around the globe as well as programs of other universities and those run by Georgetown. Main campus. Georgetown University's undergraduate schools and medical campus are located together on main campus, which sits on the hilltop, an elevated site in the heart of Washington above the Potomac River. The campus main gates are located at the intersection of 37th and O Streets, NW. Georgetown University Medical Center is on the northern side of campus, best accessed through the multiple entrances on Reservoir Road between 37th and 39th STs, NW. <laughs> Doha, Qatar In 2002, the Qatar Foundation for Education, Science and Community Development presented the School of Foreign Service with the resources and space to open a facility in the new education city in Doha, Qatar. SFS Qatar opened in 2005. As of 2016, SFSQ had a total student body of 252, with an undergraduate population of 64. 
the first graduating class of SFSQ, all of whom have BSFS degrees with a major of international politics, received their diplomas in May 2009. Ahmed S. Dalil serves as the current dean for the SFSQ campus. Notable alumni Abdullah II of Jordan 1987, King of Jordan Adel al Jubair Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Saudi Arabia John R. Allen, former Commander of International Coalition in Afghanistan, Brookings Institution President José de Rao Barroso 1987, President of the European Commission former Prime Minister of Portugal Philip Bilden 1986, Secretary of the Navy nominee in the Trump administration Bill Bryant, Seattle Port Commissioner from 2008 to 2015 George Casey 1970, U.S. Army Chief of Staff Paul Clement 1988, U.S. Solicitor General and Acting U.S. Attorney General Steve Bannon 1983, White House Chief Strategist Counselor to the President, Trump Administration Laura Chinchilla Miranda 1959, 46th President of Costa Rica Bill Clinton 1968, 42nd President of the United States Stefan Dujaric 1988, Spokesman for UN Secretaries General Kofi Annan, Ban Ki-moon and Antonio Guterres Richard Durbin 1966, U.S. Senator from Illinois, Majority Whip of the United States Senate Hum Felipe VI 1991, King of Spain Luis Fortuno 1982, Governor of Puerto Rico Dexter Goe 1993, CEO of Altus Dalia Griborskaita President of Lithuania Alexander Haig 1961, U.S. Secretary of State under Ronald Reagan, Supreme Allied Commander Europe of NATO 1974-79 James L. Jones 1966, President Obama's National Security Advisor Anne Diaz Griffin 1993, Hedge Fund Manager Eugen Jerzitsa, Minister of Education of Slovakia John F. Kelly 1984, Retired Marine General, the Fifth Secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and White House Chief of Staff in Trump Administration Taro Kono 1986, Foreign Minister of Japan David Malpass, 1982, President of World Bank. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, 1968, President of the Philippines from 2001 to 2010. Dennis McDonough, 1996, President Obama's Chief of Staff and former Deputy National Security Advisor. Kaylee McEnany, 2010, CNN commentator. Mick Mulvaney 1989, Director of U.S. Office of Management and Budget and White House Chief of Staff in the Trump Administration Kirstjen Nielsen 1994. Secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in Trump Administration Darcy Olson, CEO of the Goldwater Institute Pat Quinn 1969, Governor of Illinois Daniel Henninger, Columnist, Wall Street Journal Carl Reiner 1943, actor, film producer, film director, Emmy Award winner Tony Ressler 1981, billionaire and owner of the Atlanta Hawks Matthew A. Reynolds 1986, former Assistant Secretary of State for Legislative Affairs 2008-2009 Chris Sacker 1997, founder, Lowercase Capital Arjun Singh Sethi 2003, civil rights writer and lawyer Courtney Stad 1981, NASA Chief of Staff from 2001 to 2003, sentenced to 41 months in federal prison Deborah Spa 1984, former president, Barnard College Affiliated Institution of Columbia University, member board of directors of Goldman Sachs, first female president of Lincoln Center Daniel Sullivan 1993, U.S. Senator from Alaska George Tenet 1976, Director of the CIA from 1997 to 2004 Zelko Komšić, President of Bosnia and Herzegovina from 2006 to 2014 Mushahid Hussein, Opposition Leader in Pakistan, Candidate for President of Pakistan in 2008 
Matthew Van Dyke, Freedom Fighter and Prisoner of War POW in the 2011 Libyan Civil War Marcus Wallenberg, a banker and industrialist Margaret Wykett 1989, Deputy Director for Management in the Office of Management and Budget, Director of Federal Office of Personnel Management Wang Yi 1998, Foreign Minister People's Republic of China